For a hearty breakfast, forget the croissant and load up on roti prata. Singaporean style. Prata is one of my favourite items for breakfast. So have prata almost every day. And drop the crepes because size does matter. We actually very curious about this XL Prata. At first when we saw in the menu and uh, we want to try and actually we didn't believe that the Prata is this big. Across the city state, thousands of roti pratas are tossed in the air every day. With just basic ingredients and lots of anti-gravity, a lot of attention to detail must be given to a piece of roti prata for it to stand out in this crowded market. The operative words here being, a lot. And Guna of Spring Leaf Prata Place is more than happy to list them all. So the first step is getting your dough right. So a basic shop will have uh, flour, water, sugar, salt, some add condensed milk, some put eggs, but we don't do that. Then you need to give it time to raise, and then you need to divide your doughs. Even dividing the dough, it's a lost art. And then after that, you go to the flipping itself. The way you spread your dough, the corners have to be thin, the middle part has to be fat. So that when you spread out, the middle will expand and the corners become very, very thin. Okay, the plain prata is the only prata that gets a good beating so that even more air is introduced. And now we just throw it and my waiters will catch it. If Guna seems like he is in his element, that's because he comes from a long line of roti prata men. His father was a prata man. His two brothers are Prata men of the massively popular Prata house, Kasharina Curry. With a degree in accountancy and another in psychology, being a Prata man wasn't always the obvious career choice for Guna. Perhaps what they say about the apple not falling far from the tree is true. Still, coming from a Prata family does not guarantee success. Oh, red bean and the mother. Creativity does. We have become such a food nation, so you need to reinvent your pratas, you need to reinvent every food. But you do it not just because for the sake of redoing it, you do it because you want to bring it to the next level. You want to heighten prata to the next stage. But you should not just throw in you know, a, a salmon or something because it's expensive, but it should still fuse with the food and come out as a proper dish. In addition to tasty creations like red bean prata and strawberry prata, another variation on a theme is the eye-catching, palate-pleasing plaster blaster. I got the inspiration when I was holidaying with my son and my family and my in-laws in Perth. We were having this poached egg on this bread and the egg oozed out and the sun was coming up and it was just... It was just a nice picture to have in my head and it's always stayed on and somehow from then on I wanted to bring a poached egg into a prata. The initial idea of the plaster blaster was just a simple uh, basic plain prata with poached eggs. But then when we tried that it felt a bit too bland so we decided to spice it up a bit. Then this is our special masala hollandaise sauce. Masala is basically to add some tanginess, spiciness to the buttery taste of the hollandaise sauce. And then we finish it off with some uh, garnish, which is spring onions. And voila, your plaster blaster is ready to be served. This is the first time I'm eating this. Uh, I think this is very unique, the taste is very unique. As Guna start creating new things, we always back, back up him. We of course take him as a competitor, but if there is no competition, I also cannot progress on my own, you see. So when he start new things, we help him. Then we also try to do something new also. Guna Thani Katasarana Bose, Pudu Pudu Vidamana Abrata Gale Uruaki, Radio Villilum, Mata Pepper Gillum, Billy Vandere, Parker, Mihom, Mulcher, and the day. 
With a stable support system and a healthy dose of sibling competition, Singapore's top Roti Prata family battle it out to outdo one another. There are no losers here, only winners, right from the family patriarch through to consummate foodies. And we are reminded simply why. Breakfast, you have to eat like a king. So I think Prata is the best thing that can give you the whole day energy and the strength. That's why people, Singaporeans, like to eat prata in the morning. As custodians of the flatbread, the knowledge must be passed from one generation to the next, as it clearly has from Guna's father to Mr. Sasi and Mr. Sasi to Guna. <laughs> நினைக்கிறப்போ <laughs> But no reason why a good thing should end with Guna when the next generation stands ready. My son loves Prata. He's eight now. Um, when he was about four, I think he started uh, asking me to bring dough home so that he can also learn how to flip. And uh, I noticed that he was pretty decent at flipping. He also loves pasta and pizza, so he may open a shop with pasta, prata and pizza. Okay, okay.